If you're someone who uses a cell phone every day, listen up. Yale researchers recently looked at the dangerous combination of cell phone use and thyroid cancer risk and found a link among people with specific genetic variations called single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs. In the study, more than 175 genes were examined. Ten SNPs appeared to increase thyroid cancer risk among cell phone users, and in some cases, risks more than doubled. Of course, the data for this study was collected between 2010 and 2011, back when smartphones weren't the norm. So it's possible that older generations of phones carried some risk that today's cell phones don't. But at the same time, rates of thyroid cancer have more than tripled in the U.S. since 1980. And while increasing rates of obesity are most certainly a primary factor behind this rise, I think we can all agree that this latest study offers some serious food for thought, especially because this isn't the first time that cell phones have been implicated as potential carcinogens. In fact, researchers have been exploring links between cell phone use and brain cancer for years now. The verdict? Well, it still very much depends on who you talk to, but that doesn't mean we should ignore the information we currently have. So when using these indispensable little devices of ours, try following these three critical tips. Use hands-free technology whenever possible. Always keep your cell phone away from your head and neck, not to mention your chest and your genital area. In other words, away from your person whenever possible is best. Don't sleep with your cell phone right next to you. Power it down and give your body a break. Until we know more, you're better safe than sorry. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.